Hi folks, Tim here again from High End Cheap Tech and today we had a little bit more success with one of those two items I ordered. Uh, right now the 256 gig um, micro SD is still kind of useless to me because I wanted internal storage out of just taking the 128 out and doubled my storage out of the new mobile. I wanted that to be format as internal storage, and there's no excuse once again. So here we are, we're shooting in uh, on the wide angle on the Samsung. Uh, pretty decent uh, stuff so far. Uh, we're going to talk about the other item I ordered. You know, this. Or zero, or the new zero L. Uh, either one. I now have one of those screen protectors left, but I'm probably not going to hang on to the Huawei. <coughs> <coughs> I would hope to. We'll talk more right after the intro. folks and uh, we're back after that intro and uh, we're going to talk about the second try at installation on the order zero on the Huawei P30 Lite. Uh, as you can see the rinky case board is sitting over here. The rinky Fusion X just like the one uh, Stacked up there for the phone we're shooting on, which is the Samsung. So let's get to it right now. So let's flip this puppy over. Has a, you know, I wanted this phone to be so good. It's just not good enough to me. It would be fantastic for your mom, pop, or whoever. Rear fingerprint reader. So. You put it in the case, you lay the face down, and you hit that, and as you pick it up, you'll flip it over, and you're greeted with your big, shiny display. Now, you may see a little dust on the front, but anything you see isn't really on the screen. Yeah, it may not be there at all. Just on my screen here. Uh, so, I got it on there. I followed, I watched that video like eight times. Because I have to do this in a different room. Smoking is not allowed. And there's a nice white desk. Might use it for unboxing. But, We'll see. It's perfect for installing this stuff. Because you're not going to get dust and smoke ash and all that. And I can get right to what I'm doing, which is do the video. So, let's take a, a look here at that screen. And, yeah. You really can't even see them there. There's about three bubbles. Here's one, two, three. Now I went around and pushed down all the edges. I got it fairly straight. I really held it tight. So as I pushed this stuff out. Now all I can tell you is if you decide to buy these screen protectors, no matter which phone you get them for, Dear God, get yourself uh, watching the video. It's worth it. Everything comes in the box for free. Uh, I use a few extra nice and clean uh, 
alcohol wipes because they're not quite so wet as the wipe it comes with. And then I wipe it off. And I start applying. And of course, we all know it's a royal pain in the butt. And as you can see from that rainbow effect, it goes from purple up to the peacock blue. That's actually how the back looks. Uh, and that little curve thing there moves around depending on lighting. So I changed the angle a little so you could see it all the way around. Now this is a actually a better build than the Samsung. It's glass on the back, glass on the front, of course. Uh, Gorilla Glass 3, I believe, on both of these phones. Uh, the cameras aren't quite as good, but, you know, remember, you come to my site, uh, you know, high-end cheap tech here, you're going to probably, this is your first phone, or you just need a budget phone. You're not going to care. Sure, the Samsung has killer cameras. The 48 megapixel, the 12 megapixel wide, which we're shooting on right now, by the way. And uh, so we're going to see if they're true to form and those bubbles disappear by tomorrow morning. Or actually tomorrow night when I get home from work. And that'll help. Uh, so... And uh, on that note, that's all I have on that subject. I did order something late last night after finishing that other video. I said, you know what? Screw it. I need something that I really need. Kind of weird, but needing something you really need. And that's for unboxings. And uh, you'll see that Saturday, probably in the morning. Two day shipping. Ordered it late last night. So technically I ordered it Thursday. So it's today. And uh, it'll be here Saturday. Ah, and then we'll see. And then we'll put this back in the Fusion uh, X Ranky case. Which for the life of me, I can't, you know, you can buy the UAGs and the Spigens and the or Spigens and all of those. They're just too damn expensive. And for those of you who would like to see the pretty back, they're clear back here. There's plenty of this stuff. Nice lip. I'm going to show you a demo on the lip thing when, and if, yeah, we get the phone back in it. And after that, I'm going to button it up and put it back in the box for a while. Uh, I don't know if I'll do any more reviews. Uh, I so wanted to keep this as my daily driver. And people are, but it's not as big as the Samsung. True, but it has a rear fingerprint reader. Not the gimmicky ass, stupid, as far as I'm concerned. Absolutely inane front, behind the screen, fingerprint reader. I would have to say the, you know, built-in in-screen front fingerprint reader works about 7 out of 10 times. That ain't good. Now on this phone, on the Huawei, the rear fingerprint reader works 100 out of 100 times. That's pretty simple, isn't it? So we're going to see that new product. And then maybe, maybe, we'll figure out how to format 256. Up to, you know, as internal storage. There's just absolutely no reason for Samsung to block that. We buy these phones. We should have 100% control of how that micro SD is formatted. There is no excuse on their part. There is no reason not to do it their way. So all that being said, we'll uh, say, yeah, 
I got one spare in here in the box of the Rosette O four zeros. And uh, if you're good at putting you know soft screen you know protectors on that's fine. And of course the Huawei also came with a hard screen. Or well, supposedly I love how they call it tempered glass. Yeah, you pick up a sheet of tempered glass and try to bend it. It's not glass. It's hard plastic. Just say what it is. It's polycarbonate. <laughs> that being all, thanks for watching. Tried to keep it short, but things had to be said. But, you know, in the long run, keeping the A51 is probably a driver, the daily driver, like the uh, Mi A2 has been all these years. This is going to be a wise choice, but dear God, I'm going to figure out a way to make that expandable storage. So thanks for watching. Make sure to check the videos and the links that will come up at the back end of this. One will be yesterday's video. And the other will be best reviewer. So you may see something different than I would. And uh, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And if you do buy these, you'll know, use my links. Um, and as usual, we're using the uh, Impel selfie stick, the Zedio tripod, and the little Impel selfie stick remote, and the usual other stuff. And everything will be linked. A bunch of product links down there to Amazon, mostly, uh, except for the uh, A51. It will take you over to Wireless Place. And then make sure you use J. Williams code for, I mean, you can get an S20 over there. And you'll save money. And you'll get free two-day shipping. Catch you in the next one. Have a great one. I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget the thumbs up. Don't forget to leave feedback. And, uh. We're looking for a cheap budget phone to test. I mean cheap without, you know, I don't want something under a hundred bucks. I would never give any of those phones to somebody I knew, like grandma and grandpa. Yeah, we're talking like a 150. I'm thinking the Umadigi Power or whatever it's called. I haven't tried an Umadigi out. And, you know, they've got varying levels of, uh, they've gotten better over the years, let's just say that. That's all I got. See you tomorrow. Bye.